Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Young, and I would like to share with you the wonders of water. Now, you've heard me talk many times about the alkalizing benefits of drinking a structural functional alkaline water, but you probably have never heard me talk about the acid water and many of its benefits. So before we get started to talk about that, I'd like to just uh, use some of my uh, water testing equipment to show you uh, some interesting things about our own spring water and then run that through the Chanson ionizer at the lowest setting, which is the acid setting, and just show you in comparison the difference between the spring water and the acid water that we can produce here for a lot of good reasons. And then in addition, if you go back and listen to one of my other uh, YouTube uh, videos or interviews, you'll learn also about the alkalizing water. So we'll get into that. But let me just go ahead and just quickly uh, test my spring water here. And uh, we have five uh, wells and two springs on the property. So this is my uh, pH meter. pH measures the saturation of hydrogen ions in the water. Anything that's below seven, of course, is uh, saturated with more hydrogen ions, thus making it acid. Anything that's uh, above seven, of course, would be uh, saturated with more of uh, electrons and thus, or hydroxyl ions, and making it more alkaline. The pH on uh, our water here is going to run right around uh, 6.7 to 7.2. In fact, it's starting to climb. It takes a couple of minutes, but uh, we're going to be right out about uh, uh, 7.2 when we get done here. So that's our, that's our pH. Uh, we're going to then go ahead and test the ORP. Now, the ORP actually tests the electrical potential of the water, and really what that means is the saturation of hydroxyl ions or electrons in the water, and we have a meter here, and the, uh, the number should be a uh, negative ni number if it's in an alkaline state and if it's energized. And here we see that the number is showing a positive. That's where we see the 271 and declining. So we're going to get a water, uh, uh, an ORP rating here of uh, somewhere in the 280s, the 290s. And this is our spring water. And then I'm going to test the oxygen. Now the oxygen is really important because when we look at the oxygen concentrations of the water, we're measuring also uh, the oxygen in relationship to the acid alkaline balance as well. The more oxygen that the water has, the more acid the water is. I know that may sound really bizarre to you, but we're talking about atmospheric oxygen. You see, the kind of oxygen the body needs is atomic oxygen or nascent oxygen. So we're able to measure the oxygen concentration. Let me go ahead and measure this. You can kind of look at it. This is in parts per million, but it's measuring at about 19 and dropping. So about 19, 18, and it's going to settle somewhere around uh, 17 parts per million when we get done. So uh, that's our oxygen, oxygen concentration, which indicates that we, we have a, a water that's oxygenated, but not with the right kind of oxygen atmospheric oxygen, and the body needs atomic oxygen or nascent oxygen, which is O1, not 2. So there's our spring water. That needs to be fixed, so we're going to fix it. We can either fix it to be more alkaline, or we can fix it to be more acid. But we're going to look at the acid water here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm running this through uh, the seven plate Chanson uh, Miracle Max machine. We love this. We have several of them on the property. And we're going to put some of that water in here. We'll go ahead and, and test the pH of this water very quickly. Uh, we can get a reading. And the pH of this water is dropping quite rapidly because it is an acid water, which means it's saturated with hydrogen ions. And we're getting a pH that's dropping below 2.5. Right now it's 2.38 and dropping. So we're going to end up with a pH of right around 2. Let's go ahead and, and test the oxidative reduction potential. So is this going to be a, a reduced water or an oxidative water? Well, if it's reduced, it means it's reduced in, uh, in acidity or hydrogen ions, therefore to be alkaline. So this is not an alkaline water. It's not a reduced water. It's an oxidative water, which means it's saturated with hydrogen ions. We can measure that. We measure it in millivolts. So we're going to test it, and the higher the number, of course this is a positive number, 
we're looking at a positive 780 millivolts and climbing. We're now into the 800s. So this is a very powerful water. It's just the opposite of the alkaline water that I measured uh, that you can view on one of my other uh, videos. But we're now up to 848, 850 is climbing so fast. We're going to go over 900, positive 900 millivolts. Now, if I was to drink this water, it's going to pull energy from the body, okay, and it's going to acidify my body too as well. I could use this if I was, let's say, congested and I wanted to break up some of that congested congestion, but it's best used outside the body. So I could, I could, if I had, let's say, neuropathy or poor circulation to the hands or the feet, I could put my hands or my feet in it because of its electrical polarity being positive, it's going to pull blood to those extremities that aren't getting blood. That's why you can't feel your hands or your feet. Or you have cold hands or cold feet. You need to improve circulation. You use the acid water, which has a positive polarity to pull blood to that area because opposites attract. It's a law of physics. We're at 938. Possibly go over 1,000. So this is a highly oxidative water. What does that mean? It's a highly acidic water and its electrical potential is positive, meaning that it'll pull energy from the body. So now let's go to the oxygen. Very little discussion on the oxygen levels of, of water, but it's very, very important. The more oxygen the water has, the more acidic the water is, and the more hydrogen ions the water has. So we've got our probe in here, and uh, we're testing this. And of course, remember the spring water was around 17 parts per million of oxygen, O2, atmospheric oxygen. We're clear up to 36 and climbing. So this is a highly oxygenated water, but it's the wrong kind of oxygen. We don't need O2, we need O1. So I want you all to understand that because this is an important point. The more oxygen, the more hydrogen, the more acidic. Okay, We're going to end up at 35 parts per million. Compared to my spring water, which was 17 parts per million, compared to my alkaline water, which is about seven or eight parts per million. And what's happening there, just so you can, you, you can kind of think about this for a minute, because this may be a new concept for you, is O2 has two oxygens that are attached together. That's O2. When it splits, it forms singlet oxygen, which is O1. This is the kind of water that's highly unstable, but it attracts to its opposite, which is the hydrogen ion, which carries a positive charge. So O negative, oxygen with an extra electron, attracts to the hydrogen, which carries a proton, and they attach together, forming hydroxyl ions, which causes the pH to go up. So here again, we learn something wonderful about water you know, that you probably didn't understand before. More oxygen means more acidity. Less oxygen means more alkalinity. And we have a, an incredible apparatus here that will help us get the kind of water that we want for drinking or for using on our skin, depending on what our outcome is. So I hope this has been uh, useful information for you. And I honestly would suggest to you uh, to look at the Chanson uh, ionizers, uh, particularly the Miracle and the Miracle Max. They're wonderful. They actually do what they claim. And that's important. It's important to me. I can measure it. I can test it. It stands up. This is the kind of water that I want to be drinking and have been drinking for years.